All right, happy Wednesday morning. Thanks for stopping by. We're gonna do some campsite scouting today on the e-bike and just get an idea of where other places are to camp just for the future. So uh, let's jump on the bike and go. I decided to just follow the power lines. It's a nice little trail here. You can see that not much traffic comes down this road. It's got grass growing up through the middle of it. And uh, since it's not so hot anymore, you could camp out here and be okay. I mean, there's a few shade trees like these here on the left over here. You could just pull a van around and park under there. There's no designated campsites on this road. I'll show you on the way out that there are other campers here. There's a Class C's and some camper vans and they're just kind of pulled off the road, which would not be a problem on this road because it's so lightly trafficked, you wouldn't really have to worry about dust. But I've never been on this road, so this is all new to me. We are exploring together. I did look at it on the satellite map, but uh, it looks like it goes on through for many miles, but I've learned something around here. They've got a lot of these roads just closed off without warning. You'll just be riding along and all of a sudden it's closed off. They're doing a lot of land clearing around here, the forestry department. Thinning out some trees, picking certain trees, I don't know what for what reason. And it looks like, yeah, up in here, it looks like this has recently been cleared straight ahead. But see, anywhere along the road, you could just pull off and camp. It's totally free, totally okay. But I think we'll turn it around here. I'm getting thirsty anyway. Go stop, have a drink. All right, so uh, let's zoom on out of here. Once we get up here about a mile, you'll start seeing the campers that are like sparsely parked on the side of this road. But it's not a bad place. It wouldn't be my first choice, but I like to keep it on the back burner for the future. If I did camp here, I think I would take this spot right here on the right in that clump of trees. It's nice and level. But I bet these roads turn to peanut butter when it rains. Looks like it could get really slick here in the rain. Speaking of rain, we had a little sprinkle this morning. There must be a railroad nearby. I hear the horn on the train blowing out in the distance. Seems like it's out coming from the right. But I'll be leaving probably Thursday or Friday. I've got a package from Amazon. I got this little adapter. It's the XT60 adapter. It's like three into one. So I can plug multiple solar panels into my anchor power station. So I'll be going to an Amazon locker and picking that up and it should come in on Thursday. But if it's late in the day, I'll wait till Friday to go get it. And once I leave, I'll just pack up everything and go to a new location. I think maybe you can start to see the campers up here. Maybe it's further than I thought it was. So here's a rig just parked right off the road over here. And this is, the this is how you do it out here. Just find a spot and pull over. Minivan and a camper van. But they're well spaced out out here. If you want some space, 
it's, it's not bad, but I just don't like camping out in a field unless it's like winter time. I've got to get a new camera mount for right now it's just on this elastic band that's around my chest and it's kind of wearing out it's just a homemade mount that's something I probably need to get on Amazon and find a, a real legitimate mount for my camera here's a nice class C that's different looks like a fiberglass shell on that what is that a Chinook I think that's what that was. And up here on the left, this is the probably the worst campsite in the history of campsites. I don't know why they chose to park in the fork of the road. But you know, I guess they had a reason. But just that close to the road. And right here, we're, we're about to hit the main forest road. And it's a good bit of traffic on it, so I'm sure they're getting dusted out on a daily basis. Yeah, that would not be where I parked. <laughs> not for me there's too many other good places so my campsite is up here about less than a mile on the left and I probably need to slow down I see up in the distance looks like a camper coming down the road it's kicking up some dust I don't want to breathe all that in oh it's going in the same direction as I am okay so I don't have to worry about passing a car on this road. Which is not fun. I saw this guy jogging down this road and a car came by and it was such a big cloud of dust. You know how heavy you breathe when you're running and jogging. So he just had to breathe all that dust in. All right, we are almost back. All I've had today was a cup of coffee and a sip of water. Getting a little hungry. I think I'll make a breakfast panini this morning. That sounds pretty good. Black Forest ham, some melted cheese. That's going to be tasty. Well, I really appreciate you riding along with me. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, take care, be well, and smash the bell.